Stop battle. All right, so this is gonna be the third place match. King DDD. Third place match. Two heavies. We got King DDD and Ganondorf here for the first match of the Three, two, third place one, match. Go. Starting in now. We see FD as the first stage choice, and uh, we're gonna see a lot of. Most likely just ridiculous kills with uh, these two heavies being able to get four to five hits and being able to get these big smash attacks that close out stocks really quickly. You see Blue Jake doing a good job at getting these these uh, throw combos. Looking for the forward smash and he's able to get, like I just said, hard charged forward smashes are the way for these characters. They always look for these big hits. Blue Jay able to get eats while he's in the air with forward airs combo and he's almost able to take that stock too very quickly looks for the heat there gets the up smash looking for the up B I think that might have been a miss input there I think he meant to side B like that and it gets the up smash that's gonna be 3-1 stock blue J up with two stocks now he's gonna like to close this out as soon as he can he's looks like he's looking for revenge off his last game here When they're going out there, wow, that was really smart with the down B into up air, able to hit the spike ball into Blue J and able to create an edge situation and finishing off that stack. See some rolls coming out here from Blue J. He's able to get this down throw forward air, yep. Don't forget, uh, I think that's a dash attack or a forward tilt maybe, where he rolls, and that, that's a really strong move. Oh, almost because that's his dash attack. He goes for that dash attack there, he's not able to get it though. Hits the spike ball out of the way. Gets look for the up B there. Wasn't able to connect that second part. Good shield. Rolls on him. He's looking for the forward air. Gets looks for the forward smash. Down air coming out from Windrunner into up air. Down B into side B to get back on the stage. He's looking to hit him with the down B and be able to use the side B to cover. And the spike ball is going to come out. He's going to take that first game and that's gonna go to Blue Jay. Blue Jay going up 1-0 in the game. see two character switches, both of them switching characters, it's Ike versus Donkey Kong now, Ike, very strong character in this game, one of the better heavies, um, if he's still even considered heavy, he's very fast for how uh, heavy he is, and you can see here he does so much damage, able to kill Donkey Kong at 100% with a barely charged forward smash, gets the up smash, and Donkey Kong looking to get the and dunks him down into the depths of Pokemon Stadium able to find a big kill there. That was very important for Windy Energy to pick up there too. We're gonna see some ridiculous kills here too with uh, again bunch of heavies here. And that's gonna be another kill. This these matches are going so quick just because these heavy characters Forward smash coming out from Bujay, looking to clip him with the tip of that, but not able to hit it. Windrunner looking for these aerial combos, goes for the double back air, wasn't able to get it, gets the dash attack, pops him up into the air, looking for the forward air, able to get that, but not able to combo that into anything. Looks for it again, not able to get this spike this time. He's gonna dash attack off stage situation, not able to get the spike again. He's looking for it though. Gets the up smash clap instead, and that's gonna be a uh, last stock situation now for this match. 
We're going to see which player is going to be able to take it. Blue Jay with a nice early combo here. Gets the forward, tilt into forward smash. Nice air dodge to be able to avoid that. Gets the back throw. Charging up the neutral B. Waiting for him to recover. Gets back on stage and is able to avoid it with the down air. Gets the grab. Let's him go. Looking for the forward air. He was looking to cheese him there for that stock. Not able to find that though. See four tilts coming out. Windrunner with the oh, not able to get the hard hit of that. That would have been the stock if he found that. Looking for the up tilt. That forward smash coming out from Blue Jay. He's gonna take that second game too. Going up, going up two oh against Windrunner. Remarkable. So we're going to the last game, Blue Jay going back to his signature Lucario, which I saw before the tournament. And we see Windrunner run back to the game and go the I assume they're best characters for the last game here. Windrunner's going to have to find some pretty good games here to be able to take it back. It's 2-0 for Blue Jay so far. Oh, offstage. Oh, you don't. You hate to see that happen. Luckily, Blue Jay up 2-0 in the set right now. So even with uh, mistakes like that, he should be okay. So able to shield these approaches really well. Gets some jabs there. And um, like we've seen most of the set, although both all these characters are, uh, we've seen mostly heavies in this set. Specifically, uh, Lucario not a heavy, but when he gets when he gets high percent, he hits like a heavy. He can destroy a stock in a, just a couple hits, just like most heavies. And that's the scary thing about Lucario is just his aura hit can knock you out. So if he di if he di really well with Lucario, you're able to get these approaches like that, he's 123 percent. He's going to be doing like 20 damage if he survives. Gets hit with the dash attack though, and Ganondorf naturally doing ridiculous damage and ridiculous knockback. He's able to take that stock. That's going to be last stock situation for Blue Jay on this stock. And that's going to be a nice side B coming out from Blue Jay. Get him off stage. Looking for that neutral B, not able to land. And Windrunner with the dash attack into up there. Good combo here, he might be able to close out this stock very soon, gets the down B offstage situation, he's looking for it, not able to get anything from that. Down B again. Oh, almost able to get that down air though, but Luge doing a sick combo there, able to take that stock with an up air, I believe. And uh, just a forward air from Gendorf is going to take that game. So that's going to go up 2-1 for Windrunner now, Windrunner making us. Might come back here, but still need to win the next two games to be able to take that third place game. And we're going to go into game four of this set. We're going to see what stage we end up going to. Stop battle! Ten TDD! Let me see character changes possibly. Three, two, one, go. Now we're going into this game of Windrunner with a huge early combo. Exactly what he needs to get back into this set. That's going to be a huge early stock right in the beginning of the game. He's going to be able to stay at only 22%. Taking a lot of damage here though from Blue Jays. Combos looking for that up smash. Not able to hit that. If he was able to get that, that would have been a huge nice job from Windrunner. Able to connect with the uh, spike ball. Able to reflect that back at Blue Jay. <clears throat> Gets sucked up. He's going to spit him off stage. we got an edge guard situation. And he's looking for the down there. What a beautiful spike coming out from Blue Jay there. Able to take that stock. And uh, bring the game back into his, his control. And 
Alright, we see Blue Jay getting these good grabs here. He throws him back, looking for the spike ball. Nice forward smash. And uh, just doing a really good job at zoning uh, Windrunner right now. Oh, he's able to shield that part. Almost killed Windrunner by just uh, making sure that he was able to connect the up beyond him. But he clips the very side of the stage, able to get back. You see the looking for the roll really down beast lands on the platform but able to jump before the platform takes him too far the stars on the up beast stop run runner from getting his edge guard and we're gonna see him get eaten spit out and we're for the side beast suicide now we're at last stock situation zero percent to zero percent this is win runner's last potentially last stock for the tournament and he's looking for the down air not able to get much out of it though Offstage situation, 69% for the game, and Dorf is able to get that back here. And the neutral is looking for the forward smash, not able to get it though. Blue Jay able to re recover high and avoid that. Gets the Windrunner able to get that grab with the back air. Up air, this edge guard situation. Windrunner can end the stock when he gets a forward edge. That's going to end the game. We're up 2 2 going into game 5 of this set. This is going to be the last game of the third place set. Blue Jay versus Windrunner. We'll see what characters they decide to go for this game five. Oh, they're picking a good song. That's what that's what I like to see. Alright, last game. Game five! Blue J versus Wind Runner, King DDD, and Ganondorf playing their mains. We're gonna final destination only bidding. It's a huge combo coming out from Big J or Blue J right in the beginning of the game. Up tilt, looking for the up air, not able to get it. Forward smash, putting that shield to as small as he can. Gets the side beat for the 83%. And uh, Wind Runner getting his own combo back there, actually trading, trading hits pretty early around here. There's Gonna keep it pretty close. Side B looking for the tech read, not able to find that, but that's the forward tilt. Oh, the upbeat there. We're gonna clip Windrunner. That's gonna be the situation where he's off stage. Shoot him out with the up smash, able to take that first stock. AJ taking up the first stock, but Windrunner answering back quickly. So gonna be 0 0 with two stocks remaining in this set. Side B coming out from Ganon at low percent. He's able to read that with whatever hit he wants. And we see a forward smash coming out, it's not going to break the shield. Like we saw earlier, it only makes the shield smaller, but if he does get hit by another one of those, that will break the shield. And Blue Jay at pretty high percent here, Windrunner doing a really good job. Down B, able to knock him off the stage here. And Blue Jay is going to be able to make it back though. The Mare over the Spike Ball, last stock situation for Blue Jay in this tournament. He's going to have to take this stock very soon if he wants to try to down air coming out from the runner. See a read here, goes for the up air, not able to land. Blue Jay able to get the floor tilt out. And tries to suck him up, and he's trying to read a uh, dash attack, I believe. <laughs> oh, not in range to get sucked up. Very close, though. Looking for the forward smash, able to get the last hitbox of it. It's a soft hit, so it's not going to be able to finish off. Windrunner with the dash attack. There, offstage situation, forward air from Windrunner. That's going to be... 3-2 for Windrunner, huge comeback from him, able to take that tournament, or he's able to take the third place spot, the 3-2, very good set from both players, very good game.